Welcome to Rock Solid Productions, where in this episode we are going to take a look at the new charge base from Nyko designed to charge your controllers for your Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Xbox One Series controllers. Stay tuned! Hey everyone, Gary here with Roxal Productions. Now, before we dive into today's episode, I just want to take a second and say thank you for stopping by and checking out what we have going on here today. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you see here, I invite you to check out some of the other videos that we have here on the channel, including videos of other accessories for a number of different systems. And if you really enjoy what we show you here today, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, that way you are alerted each and every time that we do upload new content. And give us a thumbs up if you like the content that you see here. What I want to know from you here today, this is designed for the Xbox Series X, S, and Xbox One controllers. I want to know, did you manage to get yourself an Xbox Series S or X as of yet. At the time of this filming, they're still extremely hard to come by prior to the holidays of 2020. Just kind of want to know if you had a chance to pick one up yet. So the folks over at Nyko recently announced this guy here. This is the charge base designed to charge two controllers for either the Xbox Series S or X or the Xbox One, Xbox One S or Xbox One X, and they were kind enough to send us a sample to go ahead and take a look at. And I will say myself, I do not have a Series S or a Series X as of yet. What I do have is I have my Xbox One controller right here, and I did recently pick up a Shock Blue controller designed for the One S and the One X, but it's actually backwards compatible, so it'll work with our Xbox One, actually Xbox Series S, Series X, I hate this naming structure that Microsoft has done with this new generation of consoles. So many people are going to get the wrong system if they happen to pick one up. They're going to, and anyways, I wish they would have changed their naming structure. But I did pick up the Shock Blue controller designed for the Xbox Series S and Series X that will also work with the One and the One X, One S. The one thing I have always disliked about Microsoft controllers once they've gone wireless is the fact that they are not rechargeable out of the box. You need to use AA batteries. Not a fan of that, give me rechargeables. That's what this promises is you, is not only a way to recharge batteries, but it provides those batteries for you to charge. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this, we're gonna throw it on the bench, we're gonna see how it comes out of the box, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna test the battery fitment in both our original Xbox controller and our Shock Blue one for the Series X. Let's get started. So here on the bench, we do have the box for the charge base. On the front here, you can see it is compatible with the Xbox One, the Xbox Series X. It'll also be compatible with the One S and One X, and the Xbox Series S controller. So you've got a lot of controllers that this is going to be compatible with. Uh, place and charge Xbox controllers, uh, controller charging station, controllers not included, so on and so on and so forth. And again, down below, Xbox Series X, Xbox One. On the side, drop and charge, battery covers, LED indicators. On the back here, let's take a look at what we have. Again, drop and charge, unique design, LED indicators, USB-C charge cable, I like that. Uh, should be able to charge faster, or chargeable batteries included. Covers for Xbox One and Xbox Series X uh, are both included. So here you can see it includes two batteries and four battery covers. Includes two 1100 milliamp rechargeable batteries, it's good capacity, and four back battery covers for both Xbox One and Xbox Series X controllers. Dual port charging dock, charging dock allows for easy drop and charge of controllers and then USB-C powered, uh, powered by either a front or back USB port, built-in cable management for USB cord. That's pretty cool there too. On the bottom again includes two rechargeable batteries, one base, one cable, two covers for the Xbox One, and two for the Series X. Let's dive into this. Looks like we've got just a tape seal here and here. So there's the charging dock itself and our instructions. So let's take first a look at you know, what we get. So we've got battery covers here and here. So there's one set. 
There's, so it's actually labeled. I'll try to get you a closer look. Lighten up the picture here so hopefully you can see that it does say XB1 right there molded into the composite. Oh, there I think we've got where you can see it. There it says XBX. So you can tell the difference, that's the Xbox Series X. The batteries themselves, I'm impressed with the capacity with 1100 milliamp and it does say this side up. Does not indicate on the battery itself what the chemical type on the battery is. I wish that it did. Um, just so my own information for disposal if and when it comes time because if it's a nickel metal hydride battery you treat that differently than a lithium ion or a lithium polymer yeah no indication on here whatsoever as far as the chemical type on the battery here's the charge dock itself it's one solid design um, i kind of wish that you could stand it up like that just to take up less space on a uh, on a shelf or something along those lines but you can't does have rubberized little feet on the bottom to keep it from sliding around on there um, it looks like we have led indicators here usb-c port there plus another usb port here so if you needed to say daisy chain two of these together or if you still wanted to be able to have access to a, a usb port for charging other accessories this will do that for you almost reminds me of a of two things a starfleet shuttlecraft and a roller coaster car like this totally reminds me of something that i would see on space mountain Woo! okay so we're going to start with our original xbox controller and i'm just going to pop out what we had in here and so this side up so i must have to put it in like so oh and it does have polarity so positive negative just make sure positive negative terrific goes in just fine and i need the xbox controller cover here so i will tell you one thing just off the bat i wish this was black um, to match the controller a little bit better, but I should be able to just set it right on there and it should charge. There we go, get it off of that. Kind of holds it at a bit of an angle, which is nice. Uh, overall, a, a well thought out overall design. Um, let's check our Blue Shock controller. And I have actually yet to use this controller. So now on this one, I'm glad it's white because it matches the uh, the included cover. Come on, you. Oh, damn, I almost felt like I was gonna break that. This side up, slide that in. Now it does give you a little bit of a, a lip or something along those lines here compared to the stock battery cover. This is more of a matte finish where this has kind of a texture to it. So there is that. But the beautiful thing is I'll be able to charge both controllers simultaneously and regardless of which I want to use, they'll both be at the ready. I'm going to grab my power supply real quick and we're going to just see how the LED indicators look. So LED indicators on the top and along the bottom here too. And as you can see, I'm actually holding this at a pretty good angle and it's still staying um, put. I mean, the controllers are not falling out at a pretty extreme angle there, which is good. Um, I mean, overall, nice compact design. I like the fact that it'll work with the X, the Series X and the One Series controllers right out of the box. And there's no adapters or anything along those lines that we need to worry about. Uh, last little thing we're gonna do is just take a look at the instruction manual and see if there are any other points and features we need to kind of be aware of. And the instructions are basically just a slip sheet. And it walked us through everything that I just showed you right here from you know, installing the battery in the controller, which one to use, calls out the XSX, XB1 for which cover to use for which system, showed you, oh, so the left front one, so this one is for charging port one and the right one is for charging port two, so you can tell those apart pretty quickly and easily. So again, just looking at features rapidly charges and stores two Xbox Series X1 controllers, rechargeable battery packs, attached battery cover, LED lights, USB-C. The red LED indicates that the controller is charging. Green is that it's fully charged. Left LED is port one, right is for port two. The last thing I wanna see in the slip sheet here is if there's any call out for the chemical type on the battery, cause that's it's actually pretty important information we need to know. Different language, different language. 
different language, different language. So they do not indicate anywhere what the chemical type of the battery is, which is actually pretty important. I'd like to see them make an addendum or a change to this just to provide that information. I'm not sure if it is on their website or not. Before we wrap things up, I will take a look at that. But overall, I mean, not only is this a great way to charge your, your Xbox controllers, it's a good way to, to display them, quite honestly, as well. Slim, compact, low, I mean, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. The great thing about this too is I don't think I have to be overly precise with, you know, setting the controller in there. No. So, and I'm gonna take this one out. So if you see the LED is out, boom, it's back on. And it's simple, it's elegant, it just works. Let's wrap things up. So what do I think of the ChargeBase Pro from Nyko for the Xbox One and Xbox Series X controllers? It's simple in its design and it just works. Now I did look on their website, it is a nickel metal hydride battery. So not as good as a lithium polymer, a LiPo, or a lithium ion, L-ion, um, but still a very reliable battery type. Lithium would eliminate any concerns as far as uh, battery memory or anything like that. Nickel metal hydride, they're cheap to produce. The one thing I really hope over time is that Nyko does provide or offer replacement batteries because over time they will stop taking a charge, they will stop holding a charge. Now, unlike uh, the lithium based batteries, nickel metal hydride, they're pretty inexpensive to produce. Um, the overall design aesthetic of the charging base here, I like it a lot. It's low profile, it keeps everything compact on my bench that I have here. I do love the fact that they include adapter plates for both the new controllers and the previous generation controllers for the Xbox One series of consoles. Since I do have, uh, you know, two of these, um, you know, I will probably always have one of these charging or at you know close to charging and then my new shock blue controller this will probably be my daily driver once i have my xbox series or my xbox one s completely up and going again now i do also wish on the front leds here that it just had a one or a two molded in next to it or a f and r for front and rear but above and beyond that the overall design i the green led on the bottom it's simple but again it just adds that that little aesthetic touch that really helps set it off now these are going to be available for about 30 dollars as far as msrp you can see them on sale from time to time like even at the time of this recording it's on sale for 26.99 on nyko's own website Sales come, sales go, but it looks like MSRP is going to be about 30 bucks. So for 30 bucks, would I recommend this? Yeah, I actually would. I really do like the design. Unlike other rechargeable batteries that I've seen and had for these controllers, for actually the Xbox One controllers in the past, I've still had to physically plug them in, either using a micro USB cable or a USB-C type cable, or remove the battery pack altogether and put it into a separate charger. This is all self-contained in one unit, ready to rock and roll all I want to do all I need to do if I want to play grab turn the controller on and I am ready to go I will say unlike previous generation Xbox controllers this one doesn't feel bad in the hands I actually kind of like it no I'm not gonna go that far I just don't hate it yet Let's, let's go to that. I just don't hate it yet. Uh, but these are overall my opinions. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Is this something you would consider, something you have considered, and something you would want to try out? Now, in addition to the charge base here for the Xbox, they do have one for the PlayStation 5 that we will be looking at in another episode of Rocksaw Productions. Make sure, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, that you hit that subscribe button, that bell notification. That way, if you are interested in that, you can check it out when we do post it here on the channel. If you do have any other comments or questions, as always, feel free to email us at rocksolidmail at gmail.com. You can send us a message over on Twitter at rocksolidstudios. We are on Facebook at facebook.com slash rocksolidproductions and Instagram at instagram.com slash rocksolidproductionsgk. 
And I will have a link down below to our Amazon affiliate store where you can pick one of these up if you so like. Now there's no discounts or promotions or anything like that, but it actually does help support the channel if you order one using our affiliate links. Um, overall, pretty smart design. I do really appreciate the fact that they are looking backwards and forwards. So those who may have Xbox One controllers that are gonna use those with their Series X and S, they can still charge them up. And then again, it does work with the Series X and S controllers. The one minor thing, you know, the white back for the Series X and S controllers, goes perfectly with it, but the white kind of sticks out like a sore thumb on the black of a controller with a black back on it. Above and beyond that, I think this is a total win. Um, and of course, I would prefer lithium-based batteries over nickel metal hydrides. My name is Gary, this has been Rocksaw Productions, and our look at the Nyko charge base for the Xbox One and Series S and X controllers. I thank you for watching, and if you want to see some of our other videos, they're coming up in just a moment. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to support the future of Rocksaw Productions, you can do so by visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you'll get early access to all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. You can also become a channel member here on YouTube for as little as $1.99 a month. And with that, you get a badge next to your name when you comment or post on the channel, and you are acknowledged whether you are a channel member or a Patreon supporter at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also support the channel by visiting our Teespring store on screen now, where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, masks, cell phone cases, and much more. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.